Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to look at a video I have been holding out on seeing that's Once Upon a Time by Dreamcatcher's Dami. The reason I've been holding out on it is because I've seen a few seconds of it and I know it's not so much about the visuals, it's more about her lyrics and I don't speak Korean and I don't have any subtitles or translation here in front of me. So I wasn't really sure how to approach this or even if I should do a video at all. But you know what? At this point, I just really want to watch this video and hear her rhyming approach and her style. I wish I knew the lyrical nuances that she had, but I don't. All right. So here we go, so please excuse me if I don't do my typical reaction of this, but we'll just enjoy the song together. It's so different from what I would expect her to do a video like. <laughs> so what is really interesting about that is well it's hard to speak when she's rapping because I, I don't want to miss anything I said at the beginning it's not what I expect from her I wonder whose idea it was to just sit there because that's great that's so the opposite of everything you ever see from dream theater Sorry, I've done this before. Dreamcatcher. I'm not even a big fan of Dream Theater. I've seen them twice, but I don't know why I do that. Sorry. Anyways, whoever's idea it was, just a. That's a great idea. That's awesome. I love it. And she just opens up. I love that. I've said in these videos that the hands are some of the things that in dances I think get ignored. You see dancers all the time doing stuff and their hands just seem to be something they don't know what to do with. Dream Theater has always used their hands. And I don't mean little things like this, but for the whole dance, the hands are as important as the legs or the head or whatever and a lot of people just don't get that the hands are there and then you use them and then you don't use them and and so this is this is just a great video because it says so much in a minute and a half and it's it's just so simple I love the background. I love the set. It's interesting. She's got these alcohol bottles behind her. She's got this old, I think it was a record player. Uh, actually, a record player like I had when I was young. And this big old hat. And it's it's so interesting. I really need to find um, the, the, the lyrics to this. Obviously, Once Upon a Time is something that happened in the past. So there is a historical feel to this. 
and I love the way when she sings, she just oh, she just does this this very steady beat, but she's got this uh, maybe it's the tone of her voice, this way of singing. It doesn't sound like a lot of K-pop artists who have almost this American hip hop street thing or something. It's just. It's just her own style, which she's come into or developed or always had, and it's just is so distinct and so great. Um, yeah, that's a that's a fascinating, fun little video. Maybe one of you can put down below any background to this, maybe how it came about, or uh, the other thing I was thinking of was I previously talked about a song by Sua. Uh, she did Billie Eilish's Copycat that I reacted to. And that's so different than this because we all know Sua is a dancer. And, I mean, even outside of Dreamcatcher. And so that was a very dance intense video. That, that was really, really great, and so much her and fast and slow. I've always felt that Dami, I don't know how she came into wanting to be a K-pop idol. I don't know if she considers herself a singer or a dancer or a rapper or what it is. But from what I see from her, I've always kind of considered her a very introverted person. Um, you know, the stories she reads all the time and she's kind of shy and very subtle and this video reflected that perfectly reflected her personality much like Suya's video of copycat reflected her love of dancing i think that's just so great they they both really come through with their personalities here and the last thing is the great thing about dreamcatcher is it's not a shock to see this I'm not looking at her doing this, and I'm not like, what the hell, girl? What are you doing? This just seems very natural in the dream catcher landscape. And, and maybe it's because of the way they've done the, the group, or maybe because the group just really is open with their fans or whatever. But this was really interesting, and I'm going to have to watch it again with the lyrics going. Or, or actually, at some point, I do want to go back and look at the lyrics to like all the dream catcher songs that I've reacted to too because i know i'm missing a lot and this is a great example of that but anyways i'm gonna end there thank you so much for sitting with me and dami and show your love to her and um dream is the best we know that you know that and uh i dare anyone to find a band that is is on their level i'm sure they're out there but in the k-pop world there for me something something special and, uh, yeah, we're going to close with that bit of drooling and fan love. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you in the next video. Comments, question, like, dislike, whatever. You feel free to email me, all that. Look forward to hearing from you.